Hello everyone, and welcome to the finale of my Super Mario RPG epic walkthrough! Woo! Today we are going to be facing the final and hardest boss of the entire game at level 17. <laughs> I never faced this guy at such a low level before, so this is going to be very, very interesting. But I think I have a, a good strategy planned out to beat him. First I'll show you who I have uh, equipped with what. I've got these characters equipped with this stuff. I got the wake up pin on Mario and the true form pin on Gino because they are going to be bombarded by everything and anything by this enemy. You get anything, trust me, any kind of attack that you've met before, this boss has. And since Peach has got the lazy shell, she doesn't need any uh, sub uh, accessory item like that, so I gave her the amulet to boost her everything else. Uh, that, that's in case you didn't know I got from Booster, or I should say in case you didn't remember. And now we are going to go into the mysterious door and fight the boss. Woo! Oh, and I hit the wall. <laughs> Oh, well, we're back in purgatory. What is this? What is with this game in purgatory? Who's this guy? Oh my God! Greetings. I am Kulex, the Dark Knight of Vanda. I've crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage, but this world is uninhabitable for me and my kind. I must return to my own world. Before I go, though, I would like to challenge your strongest knight. I think I'm that, actually. Will you accept my challenge? Will you will enter combat against me? Yes! Bring it on! On guard! Woo! Here we go! I am matter. I am anti-matter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you! Alright, here's how this battle works. He's got... Here's Qlex right here. He's got five, uh, four crystals here. You completely avoid Qlex and start with one of these crystals. Now you want to defeat them in the order of their how much HP that they have. Um, I have it written down here actually. Qlex has 4096 HP. The fire crystal has 2500 HP. The earth crystal 3200. Water crystal 1800. And wind crystal 800. So that means we should be going after the wind crystal first. However, we, as I said, I'm going to be bombarded by everything and anything. So what I'm gonna start with is a crystalline, which boosts the, my party de party's defense for a few turns. Defense up! Woo! Oh, I got a freebie too. That's awesome. Um, next thing I'm going to do is spam rock candy because just because I have them, that'll deal 200 damage to everyone. Woo! And here comes the special attacks of death. Thank God I got some crystalline power at attached to me, and I got a little freebie too, so that'll help a lot. That static E did very little damage, which I'm quite surprised. Maybe I shouldn't be focusing on the wind crystal right now, and that did zero damage to Princess Pussy. And we've got a crystal going down on Gino. Hopefully he'll survive. Uh, I'm going to do a little group hug action just because I can, just to keep everyone in the game. And I, ow! And I think that was a wise investment. And I'm gonna go for another rock candy since this is the final boss. I don't need to save them for anything else. This is gonna do another 200 damage. Oh no, no, not pedal blast. Anything but pedal blast. Oh man, it skips Mario's turn because of that. And here comes Blizzard, which is uh, actually not that bad. I don't think it will be. Okay, it kind of is. And Flame Wall. If Blizzard's bad, then Flame Wall is Flame Wall is gonna be pretty bad too. And there goes Gino. <laughs> Well, that's not pretty. Well, that's not gonna do much to Peach. Okay, it'll just completely miss her, which works for me too. So I'm gonna kind of group hug the party, and yeah, it's not gonna revive G Gino, but at least I'll be able to have Mario back. And Shredder is going to stop that defense boost that I used, but that's okay. I think it was over anyway. That's gonna do zero to Peach, as you've seen. And I'm gonna spam another rock candy here. Oh yeah, spamming for the win. Woo! That's how, you know, that's how those salesmen get you in your email inbox. They just keep spamming you until you buy it. <laughs> and that's not going to do anything to Peach, because she's resistant to special attacks. Now, I think Mario will fare well against this. Yeah, he'll be fine. And here comes Blast. Oh, Mar that's probably going to KO. No, it didn't. 
Um, I think this last rock candy will kill the, uh, I mean this rock candy will kill the wind crystal. And then it'll leave us, yes it will, and I got a freebie off that, awesome! So that leaves three crystals and Culex left. So I'm gonna use yet another rock candy. Yeah, this is just gonna be a spamming of rock candies until we win this battle, basically. Actually, until we kill most of the uh, crystals HP, which is actually a decent strategy to use. You could even use stuff like uh, um, Geno Boost to boost your attack power, and then use the uh, um, not crystalline, uh, the uh, rock candy. What the heck am I thinking? <laughs> And then what that what that'll do is it'll actually boost the power of the rock candy, which is a beneficial move, obviously. And oh my God, Dark Star! I should have expected that actually. That did 70. No, that's not nice. And that's gonna do zero actually to Peach. She seems to be completely resistant to water and ice attacks. Oh, we've got a killer disco ball on the loose. You see, the disco industry, or should I say the disco music industry, is really why this country isn't doing so well money-wise. Because you see what happens is that, what, what we get is that it uh, defeats the plumbing industry, as you see with Mario down there. And, you know, that really gives us a problem in the sewage system of the world. Because we there's leaks all over the place, the world is flooding, it's just horrible. And then, when it hurts princesses like it does, like it's doing right now, what happens is that entire kingdoms fall because of it, and then <clears throat> the servants, you know, wander all over the place, and then killings happen. It's just a bad occurrence of the world if that ever should happen. That's that's why we have to take down the disco industry ASAP. Ow! That was a lot of damage, and I'm gonna have to revive somebody because I'm getting kind of scared that he's gonna KO Peach. <laughs> And uh, Mega Drain, this isn't going to do anything, because Peach is resistant to that particular... Oh god, Water Blast. I think that's only going to do one damage, if not, if not zero. Uh, okay, one damage, right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do Therapy just to be safe, to keep Peach in the game, because I don't think anyone can do enough damage to Peach, except for Q-Lux, which he's doing right now, which is actually kind of scary in a way. <laughs> Yeah, because of that much damage. And then we got another which won't do anything. They're just basically wasting their flower points now when they do stuff like that. Here's another zero coming. <laughs> and your sandstorm. Uh, I'd be worried about that if she had attack power or, not, or if she didn't have the lazy shell equipped. And I'm going to do another therapy on Peach just because it, I think it would be a safe idea until I can get Peach to attack uh, properly. Okay, now I'll be able to get a uh, come back in with Peach properly. I just wanted to keep my team sustained, which is pretty much Peach at this moment because I'm doing such a low level game right now. That's causing me a lot of problems. And the, here comes Blast. I don't think this is going to do very much. No, it's not. Well, this looks like it's the end of this part, so I'll see you guys in the next part.